Hindustan Aeronautics is looking to roll out the first Tejas Mark II aircraft by March 2026. Hindustan Aeronautics will start deliveries of HTT-40 trainers from September 2025. HAL will invest 6,000 crore rupees from its internal funds for the development of Indian multi-role helicopters. The second India-Australia-Indonesia Trilateral Maritime Security Workshop was held at Kochi. Spain has denied birthing rights to a vessel from India, that was carrying arms for Israel. Indian Army's ammunition imports have dropped down from previous 40% to just 10% now. The Indian Navy is exploring options to extend the operational life of its MiG-29K fighter jets beyond the initial retirement timeline of 2035, that will be done by leveraging the capabilities of local Indian public sector and private sector companies. The aeronautical development establishment is all set to begin testing advanced turboprop engine for indigenous hail class UAV. India and Mongolia held the 12th joint working group meeting between the defense ministries of the two countries. The Gripen fighter jets from Thailand's Royal Air Force surprised the Chinese Air Force during a joint exercise. The Gripens engaged Chinese Su-27 aircraft from long distances, and the Chinese Air Force lost 41 of their Su-27 against just nine Gripen fighter jets. Saab has offered the Gripen E to India under MRFA program, and experts have said that it showcases the impressive capabilities of the Gripen, and also highlights the need for the Chinese Air Force to enhance its missile evasion strategies. The DRDO is all set to propose the development of a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun variant based on its indigenously developed light tank, and this proposal comes in response to the Indian Army's long-standing requirement for 104 units. The self-propelled air defense gun missile system variant is envisioned to be equipped with a comprehensive suite of sensors and fire control systems, and it would integrate both DRDO's very short-range air defense system missiles and a twin 30mm self-propelled anti-aircraft weapon for close-in defense. The Combat Vehicle Research and Development Establishment has released an expression of interest calling for technology assistance from private sector companies, to develop demonstrate and supply light munition capability of housing and launching from a canister-based light tank. The DRDO light tank is currently undergoing internal trials, and now private sector companies with proven capabilities in canister-based light munition systems will collaborate with the DRDO, that will promise a significant boost in firepower and battlefield versatility. The DRDO and private sector companies have jointly urged the Ministry of Defense to implement time-bound user trials, with an aim to expedite the evaluation process by reducing delays that can hinder the induction of new technologies into the armed forces. The proposal calls for the Defense Ministry to establish clear guidelines for user trials, that would result in faster induction, enhanced innovation, and reduced costs. Today's Top 3 Comments 